The by-election in Richmond Park is by no means ordinary. Liberal Democrat challenger Sarah Olney is hoping to take advantage. Could you tell us why you're out here campaigning in this lovely weather today? <laughs> well, what I've, I've come down here today with Caroline Pigeon, who's our representative on the GLA, uh, and we were talking about bike hire. We want to extend a bike hire scheme uh, out to Richmond, because Richmond is the most amazing place to cycle. And I want, really want to encourage local residents to think about using a bike for some of their journeys. And we think if we could bring the cycle hire scheme out to Richmond, then that would, that would play a big part in encouraging people to think about cycling. So how do you feel the campaign is going so far? It's going really well. We're getting some really positive responses on the doorstep. We've got you know, loads of voters from, who voted all different ways in the past. Uh, saying they want to vote Liberal Democrat this time, so it's going really well. I mean, I think what we need to do is to campaign at every possible level to prevent uh, further expansion of Heathrow, and that means grassroots campaigning by local people, that means, yes, the legal action by the councils, it means whatever politicians can do to stop it. So whatever, we'll, whatever we, we can do to stop Heathrow expansion. Speaking about her uh, opponent, the Lib Dem yeah. challenger so, uh, had some harsh Zach words. Has obviously uh, resigned his seat. Do you, do you consider it to be a principled move on his behalf? Well, he's kept his promise, but in, in actual fact, you know, he had a mandate in 2010 when he was first elected. He had a mandate in 2015 uh, when he was re-elected to oppose Heathrow. You know, he's saying that he wants to stand again to get another mandate to uh, oppose Heathrow, and I just simply don't see why that's necessary. It's costing local taxpayers about £250,000 to run this by-election. And there's, it's not going to make any difference to Theresa May's decision. Um, and it doesn't, it, you know, and whoever gets returned, the local voters will know that they've got an anti-Heathrow expansion MP in the House of Commons. So there's really not a great deal of point to this by-election.